We've added the code that will make our player jump, but we actually need to add uh, the check for the button press that we need in order for the player to jump when we actually press a button. Because as of right now, the player won't jump until we tell it to in code. So let's go ahead and open up our player controller script once again. And we want to look inside of our update method inside of its curly brackets. Now the update method is a method that's called automatically by Unity every frame. And what that means is that uh, your computer will run at different speeds depending on how powerful it is. Games work by running code as fast as possible and checking for things changing based on pressing buttons or physics happening in the game. And the update method is what Unity uses to check for changes in inputs, as well as uh, do things over time, essentially. So your update method is going to be the one called the most. And again, the speed at which update is called is dependent upon how fast your computer is. So inside of our update method is where we want to be checking for button presses. And in fact, if you look in the update method, we're already doing that for our movement code. We're checking for the button presses of W, S, A, and D in these conditional statements. The input class is what handles checking for input in Unity. Input.getKey is what checks if you're pressing and holding a button. Excuse me. The input class actually has several options for seeing if you're pressing a key. What we'll make use of for ju jumping is what's called input.getKeyDown. That is set to true in the if statement whenever or on the exact frame in the exact moment that we press the button. So what we want to do is drop down to this conditional towards the bottom of our update method. We want to click on the closed bracket outside of if this character controller dot is grounded statement uh, to briefly describe what's happening here. The character controller, the component on our player we added last week and the variable that we have here, uh, the character controller variable is referencing that character controller script on our alien. And I'll pull that up here so you can see it. So you see our alien has the character controller component here in the inspector. So the character controller variable uh, is determined by this get component method. Get component is a built in Unity method that allows us to reference a component on a game object. In this case, we're getting that character controller component we just looked at, and we're assigning it to our care control variable. So down here, character controller has a built in Boolean value that is a true or false value that tells you whether or not the character controller is on the ground. So this if statement is checking to see if the player is on the ground. Uh, this exclamation point we see before our character controller dot is grounded actually tells our if statement to treat whatever this true or false value is as the opposite of what it comes up. So an if statement only executes the code inside of its curly brackets if what is in the parentheses here is set to true. The code we're trying to execute here is the code that moves our player downward as though gravity was pulling on it. So this is adding movement in the Y direction downward towards the ground. But we only want this to happen if our player is not on the ground. So you can think of this exclamation point as saying not the thing that we're putting here as the Boolean value. So again, in this case, it's saying if we are not on the ground, then we want gravity to pull down on our player. But if we are on the ground, we want it to do something else. And that's where the else statement comes in. So if we click on the closed bracket here for this conditional and say else, and then add open and closed brackets here, now we have code that will execute if this is not the case, which means if the character controller is grounded, uh, then we want some code to happen here. So inside of the brackets here, we're again going to make another conditional where we say if input, which is how we get access to that input class. So input with a capital I dot get key down with a capital G, K, and D, and then open and close parentheses there. Uh, now we can actually check for when we're pressing a key. The key that we want to check for here is the space bar. So what we're going to say is inside its, its parentheses here, we're going to say key code with a capital K and a capital C dot space with a capital S. 
So what this is going to say is if we if we get the key down on our spacebar, which means the very moment that that, that spacebar button is pressed, we're going to do some code. And we got to add our open and close brackets here to tell it what code to run. And then all we need to add inside this line is our jump method. So we say jump, open and close parentheses, and then our semicolon. So now if our character is on the ground and we press the space bar, we'll do our jump movement here. If we save our script with controller command S or pressing the floppy disk icon on the top left and then move back over to our game view, press the play button. Now you'll see if we press space bar, we can jump. Oh, my move speed's still a little high. I'm going to set that back down to maybe 15. There we go. And now I can jump around in my world. So feel free to adjust your jump speed variable while you're not in play mode, because again, that will get overridden, or to experiment with it while you are in play mode so you can try all these funny values without losing whatever it's set to at the start. Um, I'm also going to set my jump speed to 15 as well. Now I can actually play through my level. So if I start running around, I collect these coins, I can collect our big gold coin here now. And if I jump on top of our little guys here, you'll see that they actually die also. So we can deal damage to our robots, and now we can finally play through the level. So feel free to go through and play the level now from start to finish and go touch this gem to end the game because uh, the, the jump is all we were missing in order for us to beat the game.